Welcome, cosmic explorers, to a celestial journey beyond imagination. Brace yourselves for an odyssey through the cosmos as we embark on a groundbreaking episode of No Dark Ages. Today, our stargazing adventure is fueled by the marvels of the James Webb Telescope, unveiling the secrets of the universe by capturing a mesmerizing glimpse of not one, but two of the most distant galaxies ever witnessed. Join us as we traverse the vast cosmic landscape, breaking through the barriers of space and time to witness the birthplaces of galaxies that defy the very essence of darkness. Are you ready to dive into the cosmic abyss and witness the wonders that await? Buckle up, space enthusiasts, because this is not just a discovery, it's a voyage into the cosmic unknown. As per the widely accepted cosmological model, the Big Bang occurred roughly 13.8 billion years ago, marking the beginning of the universe's continuous expansion. This expansion entails the gradual distancing of massive objects from one another, including galaxies beyond our Milky Way. To gauge a galaxy's distance, scientists utilize a concept known as cosmological redshift. In simple terms, the greater the redshift, the farther away the galaxy is from us. However, a challenge arises as light from distant galaxies, traveling to reach us, stretches into infrared wavelengths invisible to the human eye. The Hubble Space Telescope, limited to ultraviolet and near-infrared light, struggled to identify galaxies with extremely high redshifts, like GNZ 11, dating back 13.4 billion years. Enter the James Webb Space Telescope, equipped to observe in the infrared spectrum, this capability is crucial for detecting objects at redshifts 11 and beyond. Upon its launch, the telescope provided a fresh perspective on the universe. From the depths of time, the telescope unveiled dozens of galaxies that could be among the earliest known in the universe. Initial observations focused on galaxies with remarkably high redshifts, suggesting an earlier formation than previously understood. As the telescope surveyed the cosmos, NASA identified galaxies that might have emerged 200 to 300 million years after the Big Bang. Soon after, the Glass C-13 galaxy, the oldest known galaxy at a redshift of 13.2, was discovered, formed just 300 million years post-Big Bang. This abundance of early universe galaxies challenges existing ideas about galaxy formation, according to the lead astronomer at the University of Missouri. He emphasized that this discovery hints at the possibility that many galaxies formed much earlier than initially thought. While this groundbreaking revelation surprised the scientific community, another ancient galaxy surfaced, existing only 390 million years after the Big Bang in August 2022. Fast forward to the present and with the assistance of the Webb Telescope, more fully formed galaxies with high redshifts have been uncovered. Not only are these galaxies fully developed, but they also exhibit striking differences, expanding our understanding of the early universe. Absolutely. The eagle-eyed James Webb Telescope has recently identified two galaxies, setting new records as the most distant ever seen. The first, named Uncover Z13, boasts a redshift of 13.07 indicating that we're observing it as it existed merely 330 million years after the Big Bang. The second discovery, Uncover Z12, carries a redshift of 12393, placing it at a mere 350 million years post-Big Bang. What makes these galaxies truly stand out is their unique appearance. While other galaxies at comparable redshifts typically appear point-like, suggesting they are relatively small, the Uncover galaxies defy the norm with their structured shapes. Unlike their counterparts, which often appear as dots, one of these two has an elongated form, resembling a peanut, while the other takes on the appearance of a fluffy ball. Adding to their uniqueness, these galaxies are more substantial, with Uncover Z12 featuring an edge-on disk spanning about 2,000 light-years, six times larger than other galaxies from that era. Despite expectations that early galaxies formed from similar materials, these findings underscore their surprising diversity. Remarkably, the James Webb Space Telescope has the capacity to spot even higher redshift galaxies, 
The Seer's team is currently assessing approximately 10 more galaxies, which might be older than Macy's galaxy. We're witnessing the emergence of massive galaxies at a faster pace than anticipated, notes Fabio Picucci of the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics. Some of these early galaxies are estimated to be just tens of millions of years old, potentially impacting our understanding of dark matter halos sculpting early galaxies in accordance with cosmological models. While there are still enigmatic galaxies challenging existing models, a group of scientists from Swinburne University of Technology in Australia has identified galaxies with billions of solar masses, comparable in weight to the Milky Way, just 750 million years after the Big Bang. These galaxies, 10 to 100 times larger than their predecessors, are densely packed into structures 30 times smaller than the Milky Way. Adding to the intrigue, these galaxies seem to host a surprisingly large number of stars, challenging our fundamental understanding of how massive structures evolve over time. Reflecting on Mikio Kaku's remarks after the early galaxy's discovery, it's clear that the James Webb Space Telescope is shaking up our understanding of the universe. Suddenly, it seems we may need to rewrite the textbooks on the universe's origins. Now, the process of forming a galaxy as immense as the Milky Way, with its 100 billion stars and age in the billions of years, typically spans a vast period. However, the James Webb Telescope has identified an intriguing anomaly, six galaxies existing a mere half a billion years after the Big Bang, and they are up to 10 times larger than our own Milky Way. This defies conventional expectations, as primordial galaxies of such size should not emerge within just half a billion years. This discovery has led scientists to question the validity of our existing theories regarding the universe's creation, and this revelation dates back to last year. Subsequent to this revelation, more distant galaxies have been uncovered, including Milky Way-like galaxies at the universe's edge, a phenomenon deemed improbable by our current understanding of physics. Many early galaxies, akin to those detected by the James Webb Space Telescope, JWWST, displayed abundant luminous gas, so radiant that the gas itself could outshine the stars emerging within. These new insights shed light on the prevalence of such dazzling, gas-rich galaxies during the universe's early stages, approximately 2 billion years into its 13.8 billion year existence. Recent observations indicate that nearly 90% of these galaxies showcased what astronomers term extreme emission features, signifying the presence of copious glowing gas. Amidst the study of these early galaxies, astronomers stumbled upon a groundbreaking find, the most distant example of a galaxy resembling our very own Milky Way. Yes, you heard it correctly. Sears 2112, a spiral galaxy, appears to have possessed a bar of stars and gas cutting across its core when the universe was a mere two billion years old. Now this prompts a moment of reflection. How is such a phenomenon possible? Our own Milky Way is also a spiral galaxy with a similar bar. Scientists speculate that the Milky Way's bar rotates cylindrically, channeling gas into the galaxy's center and triggering bursts of star formation. Previously, astronomers believed such a galactic structure marked the conclusion of a galaxy's formative period, anticipating it to be present solely in older galaxies that might have attained full maturity, possibly those existing midway through the universe's evolutionary timeline. Taking a look at the galaxy morphologies through the lens of the Hubble Space Telescope in the past, our understanding led us to believe that barred galaxies were scarce in the early universe. However, the landscape of our knowledge about the early universe is undergoing a significant transformation. Recent insights gleaned from data collected by the Webb Telescope challenge the notion that barred spirals emerged only in the more recent history of the universe. The revelation of the spiral galaxy Sears 2112 suggests that galaxies resembling our own existed nearly 12 billion years ago, when the universe was merely 15% of its current age. Sears 2112, observed at a redshift of 3 when the universe was 2, 100 million years old, 
means that the light from this galaxy took nearly 12 billion years to reach the James Webb Space Telescope. This discovery is intriguing because galactic bars observed in this galaxy were traditionally believed to have formed around 4 billion years into the universe's existence. The standard model of cosmology predicted that the early physical conditions of the universe would hinder the formation of such barred galaxies. However, the reality challenges these predictions. Even theoretical projections from cosmological simulations struggle to replicate such systems during those early epochs. This prompts the question, what crucial physical ingredient might be missing in our models? A scientist associated with the discovery notes, if something is missing, indicating the need for a deeper understanding. And just when you think the story can't get crazier, scientists propose that a whopping 85% of all matter in the universe is dark matter, an enigmatic substance that remains elusive to observations because it does not interact with light at all. Dark matter is believed to have profoundly influenced the evolution of galaxies and the formation of stars, starting as early as 300,000 years after the Big Bang. Now over to you. Share your thoughts in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to Cosmic Discovery. This is your space.